Yo designer, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the series where I showed you guys my work when I was going to school at Cal State Long Beach, trying to go through my industrial design program. So I show you guys some of my projects and some of the things that I ended up working on and some of the skills that they end up teaching you. So I've already showed you guys year one through year three. So links should be down below if you haven't seen those videos yet. Last week I actually showed you guys year four in my fall uh, semester every year um, Cal State Long Beach is broken up into two semesters so fall and spring and so this year I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys spring so in my fourth year actually my fourth year is studio which is um, pretty much combining all of your industrial design skills that they taught you from year one through three year all together so all of your sketching all of your modeling all of your 3d modeling all of your prototyping skills you bring all that stuff together to develop a product so that's what you do in studio and so studio is broken up into two different classes, methodology and studio. So methodology is essentially a very experiential kind of like teamwork building class where you learn how to work with other people. And then um, studio is essentially just anything that you would expect industrial design to be, such as user experience, sketching, drawing, prototyping, um, uh, creating rendering, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at methodology, guys. And I worked on essentially a couple different projects in this class by Mimicry was cool. So biomimicry, um, this is a continuation of actually the project in last semester. So if you watched last week's video, link should be down below. I essentially showed you guys this project that we worked on as a team. It's a competition. Um, uh, it's a competition where essentially uh, it's run every single year. It's called the biomimicry uh, design challenge and you come up with a product that is biomimicry kind of uh, derived which is um, you're studying animals and 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 bugs and systems and how they come up with their solutions in order to uh, solve their own problems and then you study and observe them and try to apply some of their solutions into your own design work and so that is essentially the philosophy of biomimicry and so you're you know you're, you're taking a lot of inspiration from nature right and so we ended up taking a lot of inspiration from like a frog that you know Know, kind of natured nurtures their uh, offsprings on their backs with these holes so then we came up with these kind of hole mounted ideas hexagons are a very common shape uh, used in um, honeycombs and bees and so that's a very strong structure and then uv light is how the sun kind of like um gives nourishment and food to plants and stuff like that so we had ended up building in kind of like this uv light ring um, all around the product and then um, what was really cool about this product actually is that um, Cal State Long Beach recognized us and that we won the product or that we won the competition and they actually um, wanted us to build some sort of a structure that was going to live somewhere at Cal State Long Beach and so we went around the school we you know took photos of certain areas where our structure or you know product could possibly live and so um, these were some of the ideas that we ended up coming up with so this will be kind of like a long vertical bench or horizontal bench some uh, other ideas such as this pillar thing here that sits in the middle of this open lobby here and um, and then these are the products that we ended up designing and so a, a, a table kind of a thing or more of a bench kind of a thing and then uh, something like that you know a big kind of a structure a lobby kind of a thing so we came up with a couple of different ideas and um, I don't think the project ever went through but that was a fun thing to kind of just go through and work with the school school so that we can kind of get you know something like that done so as we move on um, sometimes every once in a while the professor would assign some uh, some reading that you would have to you know just read before the class and stuff like that so these were some of the pdfs that they sent out for us to read and then the diary essentially the diary is um, all about your processes some of the things that you project that you worked on you're all kind of documenting documenting it so then uh, this was all about process so i kind of just looked back about some of the process that i took and um, of certain projects and then you kind of just go through what the things that you did and then kind of refine it and then stick to that kind of process as you move forward so this was some of my initial kind of early process a couple different phases here going from one through six and then i kind of refine it a little bit more so uh, phase one is project phase two is research phase three is ideation finalized prototyping and presentation and then i think this is my ended up being my final process here so um, brief, uh, I add in pretty much like time periods, week one, three hours, and then it's going through some of the budget, some of the specialty tools I might need, some of the goals, 
um, and then uh, it goes through the process, the, the, the next week, which is the research phase and the ideation, then the development, prototyping, and then presentation, where you kind of just put it all together and a uh, project or team you know and okay so this is actually a really cool project here so this is actually jumping into the drawing machine project so the drawing machine project is a project where essentially you're dissecting a bunch of you know old printers and tvs and speakers and just random stuff right random electronics that nobody wants and you're using these parts to build a drawing machine this drawing machine can you know can draw anything you want really you can use pens and paper and chalk and you know anything that you really want and so you you can see here this machine that you find on the internet uh, it's drawing essentially these shapes into sand using um, a steel ball that's hanging on a wire so um, the project is to essentially draw a or create one of these drawing machines so me and my team uh, same team as before we ended up creating what's um, called a uh, long exposure light drawing so um, you know we're, we're into cameras and stuff like that and uh, we wanted to do something where we would capture long exposure light which if you don't know you set the camera to uh, capture a long exposure which means um, you're you're essentially telling the camera to take a photo uh, when it starts and then there's a long period that you can set maybe 30 seconds or so and then where it stops taking a photo so during that whole time period it's essentially gathering all that light and so you could end up drawing pictures you know like this where you essentially hold up like a flashlight or something and you could draw kind of these uh these lines here i'm sure that you've seen them before and then um we ended up doing it way more creatively where we built this kind of like this uh, box here out of clear acrylic and then we connected some steel wool to a drill and we spun the drill we lit the steel wool on fire and then uh, this and then of course the box contained all the particles all the sparks that would have been flying off into the box so this is what we ended up coming up with which actually looks really really cool and then we just kind of took that idea even further. We uh, created this Plinko box here and added some of these balls that lit up. So they had like these RGB balls and then when you shake them around, they light up. Put it into this kind of Plinko box um, with um, uh, this pegboard and stuff like that. And it's enclosed in this clear top. And then we connected it to a drill, added some more kind of light, you know, weird things right here. We added some smoke as well because, of course, uh, light is a little bit diffused and it affects um, uh, and it looks kind of differently through smoke. So we ended up adding some smoke so we can see brought my buddy Brian here blowing some of this vape as my buddy Matt uses some of this crazy LED to move it around. And then um, and then we have the Plinko box in the back. I'm taking the photos, shining a flashlight. So it was a crazy kind of operation. Um, but we ended up creating um, uh, this piece right here where we ended up printing it out in um, uh, a really, really, really big form. And I actually still have this print out here. It's really actually really large. And then I have it in my um, hanging up on my wall in my houses. Actually, I still have it. So just a kind of a fun memory that brings me back every time I see it. And so this is the image here that we ended up making um just w with that plinko box and some of those like crazy leds and stuff like that so it was a very very fun project and then the last project here we worked on was an automation project where essentially you are i think the project is you, you have to come up with like something a process that you do on a daily basis so for example we ended up selecting the process of going through filling up your gas and uh, you go through filling up your gas, you put in your card, you know, you take out the gas nozzle, you put in your car, you push in your numbers, all that stuff, right? You select the the, the octane that you want. And so we wanted it to, 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 to go through that process of filling up your gas and then you go through a simplification where what are the things that needs to happen? What are the, what are the words that you're going to choose? So we ended up building a prototype here. And we have a bunch of these words that we ended up putting behind these windows. And then we had a lot of people go through the process of kind of like filling up their gas or hypothetically filling up the gas. We switched out some of these cards here. We changed up the number, changed up the questions of switching the cards out this. It was also a video base uh, video kind of project thing too. So just a fun project to do. 
in methodology, so nothing too crazy in um, methodology here. Now we move on to studio, guys, where it's a little bit more fun. The first project is going to be all about branding, so it's just about you, essentially, the, the, the things that you like, you know, what is your logo, what are your colors, you know, uh, what's your philosophy, some of the words that describes you. So we have to come up with um, some of these like the, this whole book that pretty much is talking about all about your brand and stuff like that. So uh, that was one of the initial first projects that you have to work on. And then the second project is actually a concept project. So this is more kind of like super out there, super open, you know, uh, uh, you could do pretty much do anything you want. So I essentially designed this thing, Amora, Amora, and it was a lamp. So this is essentially what it looks like here and um and it heats up and it lights up and it and it tells you like information and stuff like that and it opens up into this bloom mode here and it shoots out a fire i can't can't really remember what it is so these are some of the designs that i went through and so i the cool part about all of this is that i ended up prototyping it and actually made a whole video on it too so uh, here's me prototyping it up um use some led light strip laser cut pieces uh, ended up frosting the pieces so that it had some the light had some nice diffusion this is how the uh, diffuse parts kind of came out like the, all the frost and then um, some 3d printed parts so this is a led strip that i ended up wrapping around this tube and then i have a clear tube that's around that laser cut pieces here and it has all these notches in them so that i can go ahead and put those um, laser cut pieces into those so this is me just working on it crazy with my popcorn and uh, all this tools and crazy stuff all around. You know, all this is a lot of work, takes a lot of time. And uh, seeing these pictures really brings back a lot of memories. So laser cut pieces there. Um, all the different kind of colors, colorways, super gluing. So uh, it ended up looking really cool and I really ended up liking it and it just made for a really nice looking lamp and I, I wish I still have it but one day it actually fell over and uh, it was so brittle that it ended up just breaking and it broke apart so I ended up just kind of throwing it away and getting rid of it. And uh, it's me working on the bandsaw. And so uh, sad times man, I really wish I still had this thing because uh, it looked really cool actually. So that was my Amora project. I think I made a whole video where I um, showed making it as well. So um, the opening shot is called Amora. Uh, lights up and it changes colors. And uh, 360 heating. So um, uh, it could heat up or cool down as well, depending on the uh, how you hot or cool you want your house. And then it opens up, it does this bloom mode where it kind of opens up like a flower and then it um, shoots out pretty much flames, essentially creating kind of like a fireplace looking thing. And there's a phone app that you can kind of change and, and kind of like interface with the uh, product. So uh, just one, you know, just a fun, cool project. Okay, so the next project is going to be Umbra, and Umbra is essentially a home goods brand, and we worked with, um, I think, the CEO, or it's just somebody really high up at Umbra, and uh, we were pretty much designing a, a designing products for him. So, you know, they have, like, really just, like, fun, kind of quirky home goods kind of products. So um, uh, we went through the whole process, learned about them, studied about them, what Umbra is all about. And then uh, we came up with some products here. So some quick sketches came up with kind of like the stand organizer thing, um, d duo kind of like photo frame that's connected both together and you could put it in a bunch of different orientations, um, a little guy that is a book holder you know he looks like he's going to the bathroom here or he's just chilling there um this is going to be a, a, a clothes hanger where you can hang like hats and belt loops and just random stuff like that not not necessarily specifically for clothes or for coats but you can hang other stuff uh plants you know handles um a rocking chair kind of a photo frame um, so just a bunch of like random little kind of home good product ideas. So this is the leaning tower of, of Pisa idea where it's just like a paper towel, uh, but it's a leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> uh, random, you know, like storage. Co so, so I'm just coming up with a bunch of these ideas. I think this project went for like five weeks long. I really didn't enjoy it. 
didn't like it at all just coming up with these kind of like random products i'm more of like a consumer electronics person i want to dig into the form and the shapes and the cmf and all that stuff uh, I, I didn't really en enjoy this project that much but that's the umber project right there and then the very last thing what i want to show you guys is um, the works in progress show so after the end of fourth year they essentially have you put together some of your favorite projects that you worked on in your fourth year and put it into a show essentially so this is going to be the poster i ended up uh, printing out in a really large scale i forgot how big this thing was but some of the projects that i ended up working on so the drill project that i showed you guys in the last video uh, my amora project here and then um uh this project here that i ended up creating in my third year for uh to to win the competition so um, that's pretty much it guys, you know, just all the stuff that I worked on. I definitely this semester was a lot better than my first semester. I tried a little bit harder and ended up with some cool projects such as this Amora one. But uh, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't want to stick around editing this one for too long. Uh, it is going to be Christmas in just the next couple of days. So I'm just going to, you know, spend time with my family, relax, um, enjoy my holidays. But I really hope you guys do too. And um, don't miss me too much if I don't make a video next week, but I will be back next year, early next year. So, you know, just a couple more weeks, guys. But I hope you do have a great holiday season with your family if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or anything else like that. Happy holidays to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also, leave me a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about. Also, hit that subscribe button trying to get to 100k, guys. So please, 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 if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Jimmy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.